and welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. <laughs> I have just dropped a load of parcels at the post office, not many work ones, there were what three work ones I think, but the rest were all presents that are heading out to friends and family. Thankfully, I'm glad to have got that job done. It was one of those things that was kind of weighing over me, thinking I need to get them shipped otherwise they're not going to get there on time. One of them probably isn't going to get there on time, but oh well. The thought is there. <laughs> Right, I'm going to head home. I'm feeling a little bit wiped out today and a little bit stuffy, kind of, you know, like the onset of a head cold, that kind of thing. So I think plenty of vitamin C for me today and yeah, try and have a bit of a quiet day. I've got a little bit of yarn that needs skeining. Um, the, there were a the couple of colourways that I dyed up the other day that were for um, kind of custom orders. Um, I need to get those skeined up today and get them um, photos and stuff sent off to the people that were interested in them and then I'm going to try and have the rest of the day quite quiet. I'm thinking what I might do for this video today is let's just have a delve through all of my whips shall we. Keep it simple, keep it easy to edit. Um, I'm still in the process of editing yesterday's video so I could do with making today's video as easy as possible. So we will have a bit of a whip tour and I will announce the giveaway winner um, because today is Friday's video so the giveaway winner, I haven't drawn it yet, but the giveaway winner will be announced a little bit later on and of course we'll do the joke of the day. Um, but yeah, we'll keep this video a little bit simpler. Right, I'm going to get home and I will see you all a little bit later on. Before we head back to school, Arthur, what time is it? It's time for Jug of the Day! <laughs> the Jug of the Day is... What do you call a blind reindeer? No idea! <laughs> Bye. I've just dropped Arthur back at school after he came home for lunch and I've dug out my two boxes from the unit where I keep all my knitting projects and I thought we'd have a little delve through the whips. Now this doesn't include my advent whips because obviously you've been seeing those so my gnome, my heart and mitts and my advent blanket are still kind of over there because they're ones you've been regularly seeing. These are the whips that have been put aside because of Christmas. These are also the whips that I haven't worked on in quite a long time. And there might also be some potential projects buried in here as well. So let's have a look, shall we? Right, I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down. Living in this gorgeous project bag from The Little Grey Girl, there'll be a lot of project bags by Jem, is... Ah, my... It's not my star flake. My slip extravaganza shawl. <laughs> this I got so far behind so far behind but it's coming along I haven't worked on this in absolutely ages it's one of those projects that I'm going to pick up in the new year when I've got a little bit more time and I can just focus on it for a couple of days um, but it is beautiful this section of the honeycombs I really enjoyed um, if you don't know what the pattern is this is as I said it's the slip extravaganza which was the Stephen West mystery knit along for 2020 um, and I was using four of my colours, so I'm using Ashes, Carousel, Lavender Fairy and Cream Tea um, all together in this blanket, in this blanket, <laughs> it's, it's like blanket sized, in this shawl. Um, and I think I'm using, well I am using the single ply base for it. So when it's done it's going to be gorgeous but it, this this slip stitch section was a drag. <laughs> um, it took me ages and yeah and then everything else just happened with November and it just got put away and didn't get picked back up again. But that is one project that will get done and I will carry on with that in the new year. Right what's next? Um, living in this one Again, another one by The Little Grey Girl. Oh, this is my hexagon blanket. I haven't got very far with this yet. Again, because projects just got put aside because of advent knitting, but I have got seven, seven joined in there. Um, and this is just, this is my hexagon blanket. So basically I am crocheting hexagons 
using as much of a 10 gram mini as possible. Um, and I'm just joining them together as I go. And I'm trying to keep this one to slightly more um, paler colours um, to kind of have more of a pastel style blanket. And I have a whole bag full of minis to add into this. So I think once my um, advent blanket is done, this one will get a bit more love again. Then we have, again, another little grey girl bag. And living in here is, ah, my Vertices Unite. Oh, this is a project that I really want to get back to. Um, this is the Vertices Unite, which again is another pattern by Stephen West. Um, and I am currently working on section three. This fits on waste yarn, which is why it's pulling a little bit funny. Um, I'm currently on section three. And I've not got that much further to go. I was in the decreases of section three. Um, so again, this is really one that I need to work on a bit more. I'm using five colours for it. Um, so in this section here, you've got Bramble. Was it Bramble? Yeah, I'm sure it was Bramble by Down Sheepy Lane. And um, Jelly, of the, Jelly of the Month, I think it was called, by Suburban Stitcher. Um, and then this section here is all Grurple by Nora George Yarns. And then this section here is striping together um, this one, which was Hold Me Tight, I think it was called. It was one of the Tim Burton Club ones from Debbie at Down Sheepy Lane. And this one, which is Geralt, or Geralt of Rivia, which was one of um, Debbie's Witcher colourways. And this is a pattern that I really want finished. I oh, I was loving working on this. And then the Slip Stravaganza um, pattern came out and I got distracted by that. And this ended up going to the wayside for a little bit. But I'm really looking forward to picking this up again in the new year. Right, next. What else have we got in here? This I can't show you. Um, and it doesn't actually have a whip in at the moment because I took it upstairs. This was had my sample in for um, the Christmas history advent. This one here has got my, oh, Find Your Own Direction scarf, which is a pattern by um, Erin of Henny, Henny Penny Makes. It's a fantastic little pattern for scraps. And um, this has not had work on it in absolutely ages. And again, I've got a bag full of little tiny scraps to go into this. Really is one that I need to pick up. What else have we got in here? Oh, my Halloween socks. Um, did I finish one of them? I can't remember. Oh, I did. I did actually finish one of them. And the other one, I think I just got past the heel. Um, so I really need to get the foot of this one done. And I'm using one of my sock blanks. This is my Goosebumps sock blank. Um, they will get finished in the new year. They can be the first pair of socks completed in 2021. Oh, unless I get my Christmas Eve cast on socks finished first, but we'll see. Um, this one has, I don't think it's got, I think this has got a potential project in it. Yes, it has. This one has just got yarn in it. I've got two skeins of this massive, chunky Malabrigo um, worsted in the Kaleidos colourway. And this is to make the Adama cowl, which I talked about recently. It's all caked up, ready to go and will at some point get cast on. This bag here, gorgeous project bag from Emma at Eldenwood Craft. This has got the start of my raven shawl in it. I haven't got very far with this. This is a sample for the shop. I can't work out which side's the front and which side's the back. This side's the front. Um, this is my amethyst colourway on BFL silk. Um, and it is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting this sample knit up. I'm using these two colours together. So this is amethyst and this is emerald. But not a lot of progress has been made on that. But again, Christmas and November, just everything went chaotic. This hasn't got anything in it. Oh! That's because I got this project bag out for the um, 
Cupid's Arrow, which I'm doing with the Spectrum Fibres, and then I haven't cast it on, and I've been putting all the yarn back in the Spectrum Fibres box. Right, what else is in here? Random Christmas baubles, for some reason. Um, the yarn for something else. What's in this one? Nothing. Scraps. Um, oh, that might be just about it for this. What's in this one? Oh, a very, very long-term potential project. This yarn has been in here for probably nearly two years and I still haven't cast this project on. This is yarn from Debbie at Down Sheepy Lane. She put together a kit for the, is it called the Jou Shaw by um, Brixton Pearl? I think there might be a tiny picture on here. Not a very good picture. But yeah, the Jou Shawl by Brixton Pearl. And I bought the kit and I fully intended to make that shawl. And I caked all the yarn up and then I never cast it on. <sighs> Maybe another project for 2021 or 2022. Maybe it'll live in here for another two years. Oh dear. Um, right, but that looks like everything in this box. But we still have one more box to delve through. If I can get everything back in here doesn't all fit. How did I get it all in there in the first place? Right, this one, I think this might just be a project bag that I need to take down. You know, like when you finished a project. Yes, this had the yarn that I used for um, Jasper's nursery teacher um, for the Aguin mitts. So that is just a project bag that needs taking down. Um, what about this one? I think this might be the same. Again, this is a project bag. Yes, this has got leftover yarn from the hats I made and leftover yarn from the cowl I made. Um, so again, these are just project bags that need kind of taking down and having everything put away from them. This one, oh, this one has sock snakes in it. Um, I'd intended to try and get some sock snakes that turned into socks for Christmas presents and I didn't. So I've got three sock snakes, which I cranked on my sock machine. Um, if you're new and you don't know, I have a an Ashcroft an Ashcroft Makers 3D printed circular sock machine. Um, there, if you look back at my August vlogs, there's a couple of videos where I share a bit more information about it. Um, but these have been cranked on that. This one is my Yuletide colorway. She does a couple of balls of this in the shop at the moment. This one is my frosted colorway. This one is an absolutely ancient um colorway called wicked witch which was a very original giddy yarns colorway and yeah they are just ready to have heels and toes and cuffs and everything like that put into them um again that will happen at some point next year i'm sure what else my campsite cardi again another project bag by the lovely gem at little gray girl this is so 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 close really um, I've been working down the body of this one. I'm on the third chart now of four charts and I just need to crack on with it. This is going to be my priority in the new year is to get this finished so I can still wear it where it's while it's spring. Um, this is a pattern by um, Alicia Plummer, the campside cardi, um, and I'm knitting it with Eden Cottage Yarns in their Melbourne DK. It's a BFL silk. It's this one. Melbourne DK. It's a BFL silk blend and it is absolutely gorgeous and I love it and I really, 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 really want the garment. Right. What else have we got? Um, living in this one. Again, I think this might just be a project bag that needs taking down. Yep, that is a project bag that needs taking down. So that means we're pretty much there for whips. I've got a bag here which has lots of... Um, dishcloth cotton from making dishcloths. I kind of feel like I need to make some washcloths for Arthur's teachers. I've done nothing for Arthur's teachers at all, at all this year. I should do teacher gifts for them really, shouldn't I? Um, and what's in here? This is just minis, I think, leftovers from... Oh, this is all the leftovers from the Spectrum Fibre Stars um, that I made into the garland. Um, these are going to become scrappy socks at some point. Um, this is a tin with nothing in. It's a nice Christmassy tin though. It did have minis in at one point. And that is 
everything. Does anyone else have loads and loads of hidden whips that they've not touched in absolutely ages? I never used to. I used to have like very sort of sensible things on the go. It used to be kind of one shawl and a couple of pairs of socks and that was about it. But for some reason in the last year, I've just acquired whips. Um, but oh well. January. I am going to have a concerted effort in January to um, clear some of these whips. <laughs> I've popped you in the tea cupboard again just to round off today's vlog. Um, I realised I hadn't announced the giveaway winner yet. I um, did the thing, the comment picker YouTube thingy. In fact, if I go this way, I will pop a little video up there of me um, doing the comment picker so that you can see how it all works. Um, but I did the comment picker earlier and the winner of our lovely giveaway is Nada May. Nada May, I'll pop it on the screen. So congratulations, thank you so much for entering. And if you get in touch with me, um, I think there should be details below the video. Do you know what? I'll make sure there are details below the video um, of how you can get in contact with me, whether that's via Ravelry, Instagram, or email. I'll make sure that's all below the video. Um, drop me a message, let me know your postal details and things like that, and I will get your parcel in the post as soon as I can. Um, if you if you let me know, when does this video go up? Friday. If you watch this on Friday and you let me know before Saturday morning, then I will get it in the post um, before Christmas. If I don't hear from you until um, later, then it might not be until after Christmas, but I will see. It depends, it depends where you are in the world, <laughs> basically. If you're in the UK and I can pop it in the post box, then it'll go, in the, it'll go out before Christmas. But if you are international and I need to take it to the post office, then it might have to wait until after Christmas. Right, but that was the major thing. I hope you enjoyed the whip tour earlier. Sorry, I made today a bit of an easier video. Um, we might do an hour by hour tomorrow. I find at this time of the month when I'm doing a vlog series, an hour by hour can be quite good, can quite get me, ease me back into kind of more of the everyday kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, we might do an hour by hour video tomorrow. We will see. Anyway, I will leave it there for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Add your comments down below. I love hearing from you and Arthur hasn't said it on this vlog series very much, has he? But as Arthur would say, make sure that you like and subscribe. <laughs> See you all tomorrow. Bye.